I'm sure you history buffs already know what this is. It's a M1 Garand. Now, I'm sure everyone wants an M1. How about two M1s? How about an M1 that is also gas blowback? These bad boys are he right here are Marushan M1 Garands with the ping. Now, they are gas blowback. Um, two models, they come in both the tanker variant um, and then they came in the full rifle variant. Seen here. Um, Marushan did a ton of different wood types. They did walnut, they did cherry, they did oak. Here's a nice walnut stock. Gorgeous. Here's an oak. Um, so, um, for, for our purposes, I'm going to be using the tanker because it's a little shorter and easier to show you guys if it's in frame. The longer guy does not. So, let's move him out of the way. He can sit right there. So, the tanker model. It is, of course, gas blowback. These can be found for about the price of a WEM14, but 800 times cooler. So, um, of course, uh, very realistic operating system. Uh, it uses a clip, which actually went over here, so I'm going to get that. Here you can see your clip. It is a, um, looks like an in-block clip. We're going to do a really good job on it. Pull your bolt back. Load the clip. Yes, this is a clip, not a magazine. Like bolt fly. And there you go. So, um, start with the tip. Of course, barrel, your gas tube, which this is, um, it, it's basically a model gun that fires. Now, accuracy isn't the greatest, nor is, I mean, range is there. Accuracy isn't the best. But, they're very realistic. And so, you can take the whole gun down. Like, for example, right here, you can take your tri trigger group off if you just pull your release pin right here and put it back on. You just do the same thing. It's a little easier with the hammer cock. But basically, you just slide it in. You open your release lever. Pop. So, anyway, um, you can see your operating rod. Actually, you guys can't see it, but it has an operating rod, just like the real thing. Once again, super realistic. Uh, bolt, bolt does cam open when you uh, run the action. These guns are interesting. Um, they hold gas down here, right in front of your trigger, right here your gas reservoir. It's non-removable. Well, it is removable, but it's not easily removable for games, so you just fill and go. A lot of people HPA tap them. If you get one of these and intend to use it in a game, definitely HPA is the way to go. These come in both 6 and 8 millimeter variants, and of course, tinker and rifle wing. Um, you have your controls, your charge handle, your bolt. Bolt is full cycle. Like, it goes all the way back, and it does cam downwards like the real thing. Uh, your BBs, when you load a clip in, these are available metal and plastic. We do sell the clips on the website. When you load a clip in, um, you can eject it. There's a button on the side that ejects it. Um, to release bolt, just give it a tug. It's good to give in. Trigger pull is fairly heavy. You also have your flip safety. There's your hammer. Rear sight is adjustable. Just like the M14, slides up and down, and you can move it left and right with your other adjustment knob. Do you have a hood front sight? That's oh, you can get a door on the back for storage. Um, it's kind of all there is. I'll show you guys the tanker model now, I guess. So, or not the tanker, full length rifle model. So as you can see, as you can see, it is definitely a lot longer. Um, but I, exact same identical action. 
yeah, no, no difference here in the action. Um, and I'll actually do a firing for you guys. But they are very heavy. Like, these, these guns are extremely heavy. They're full metal, all wood. They're about as realistic as you get for M1 Garands. Hence the six to eight hundred dollar price tag. Speaking of the number eight, this is an eight millimeter model because Marushin fought big bullet real life, big bullet airsoft. Eight millimeters, just like uh, six. We sell both the eight millimeter BBs as well as the guns. Evike also carries the eight millimeter BBs. You can get both these models in either size. Six millimeters tend to go for more because they're a lot rarer and a lot more desirable. But the eight millimeters can be found fairly cheap for what they are. Um, yeah, the full length one is the same operating way. So let's get one gas up. I'll show you how to do that. So you will need um, your gas of choice. I recommend duster gas. Uh, pick up a little adapter here. We currently don't sell these adapters yet. Um, check back soon-ish, we might. Um, and of course, your manuals, uh, anything you'll need for this gun. We have text review, it's all in the description. Um, you can find everything on the gun's product page. So, make sure you rack the bolt first before putting gas in. Put it upside down. Put your gas in. Fire. So, they're fairly gas, I mean, they're gas efficient, but they're gas hogs because of the full travel bolt. So, let's show you one ejecting clip. So, uh, the clips don't eject until you're out of ammo. So, put a clip in. Ah. They are, they can be a pain to get in sometimes. So, there you go. And, oop, bolt locks back. So, I will do that again. So, pull back, put your clip in. There we go. And, yeah. We're going to let the rest of that gas vent. That is the Marushin M1. Um, I didn't show you guys the box, so I will go do that super quick because I have the box over here. Um, here's what box art looks like. M1 Garen. Yeah. Um, so these guns are about as you get, about as realistic as you get if you're into reacting or anything that such. Um, they're fairly cool rifles. I I owned a couple of them for my personal collection uh, before I started this. And yeah, if you want to see more, you can always subscribe. And if you want to pick one up, they're available on the website. So.